Oh, hey, Scorpio. What's up, y'all? Happy almost Scorpio season. We're still in spooky season, so I'm doing a little spooky read for you guys today from the, the Beauty of Horror Tarot. I'm going to do a little past, present, and future. If you guys have not been to my channel before, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you want a personal reading, info is in the description box below. A few spaces left for this month, but not that many. Um, I'm a Scorpio moon. And I literally just found out I'm a Scorpio rising. I found out my true birth time, which was not what I thought it was. And my chart changed completely. I have so much Scorpio, oh, Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising. I got Scorpio in the 8th and the 12th, 8th and the 12th house. So I love me some Scorpio energy. Anyways, guys, let's see what's going on with y'all. She got the Scorpio. That did not want to shuffle. Look, these cards don't want to go back together. I don't know why that is. I'm just going to take it. Ace of Wands with the King of Wands and Ace of Wands and the King of Wands in reverse. What the hell is this? Six of Wands in a battle of the egos. Jesus Christ. Look. <laughs> Both of these cards, right? The Six of Wands and the King of Wands are very egotistical cards. They have the, the King of Wands has the biggest ego of all the kings. He's in the reverse. That means he's aspecting negatively here, which means he is being egotistical. He is being overly controlling. He is, you know, going after toxic stuff. Ace of Wands in reverse. That's being very triggered, um, lacking passion, lacking initiative, lacking a spark to, you know, do something positive. Six of Wands in reverse. That's being defeated, feeling like you're being rejected. And then we got this Eight of Pentacles here, trying to master something, trying to make something grow, trying to see something come to, you know, fruition. Somebody tried to rush this, all right? Like somebody was not feeling appreciated. Somebody was like uh, trying to put the cart before the horse here. They didn't care. Like big blowout I see with this energy, big fight. Somebody feels like they lost, you know, everything here. These energies are very unstable. I feel like one person sitting here like this with the eight of pentacles, like, hey, uh, aren't we working on this? And then this other person is in this like crazy fire energy of, I'm done. I have, it's my way to the highway. I'm done with this shit. I don't want to work on this. Uh, somebody just abandoned ship here for no good reason. It was like for a very egotistical reason, or a very um hasty decision. Quick, stupid exit here. God. And it's like they shot themselves in the foot with this. You turn these upright, all right? Somebody's shocked as shit here. This is like somebody was very passionate about whatever this was. It's like you turn these upright. This is the passionate ass thing that you're flying after that you're going to win big at. It's like I feel like there was that, that feeling was there. And then for, something changed and triggered this and flipped it around. And somebody's now is like, I don't want anything to do with this. The other person's still standing there holding the bag. Like, I thought we were building something. What about the current situation? Three of Wands in the reverse with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like butting heads here. Somebody wants, you know, to work on things and somebody's like trying to distance themselves. Somebody's refusing to come forward. Somebody needs to swallow their damn pride here. Somebody's ego is like their own worst enemy. It's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. Cause every now and then I kick the living shit out of me. Smoke alarm is going off and there's a cigarette still burning. Please tell. Lit. That song, My Own Worst Enemy. That This person is their own worst enemy. It's like they see that they're, like, there's a cigarette, you know, burning in their hand about to catch their house on fire and they just stay there sleeping. It's like they're not doing anything. They're on the, I said that they abandoned shit. No, they're standing on the ship that's sinking and they're refusing to, you know, jump to safety or plug the hole. They're just going to, they're going to die on this hill. <laughs> the king of wands in reverse will die on that hill, especially if his ego is bruised with that six. And there's a siren. You hear it? Confirmation. Ego is killing this. It, it, there needs to be an ego death big time. Are we getting it? Nope, we are not. We're getting more emotional immaturity in the current situation. Justice in reverse with knight of cups in reverse. This person's receiving karma. Aces are a gift from spirit. It was the ace of wands in reverse here. Somebody rejected a gift from spirit. 
straight up rejected it and it was meant for their victory all right scorpio take it as it resonates you your person whatever you're dealing with there was something set up for a win here it was like spirit tossed this person a giant like in beach ball you know to hit and they they whiffed and they missed it i don't even think they picked up the bat to swing at it right now this stubborn this is devil energy keeping this person from moving forward you see there's a, a devil i read art there's a devil in this three of wands the it's their their issues somebody's issues somebody's ego somebody's pride somebody's attachment to negative shit somebody's inability to walk away from shit that don't serve them and accept whatever this ace of wands is they're doing themselves a, a injustice right now you got justice in the reverse with the knight of cups in reverse by not moving forward to this and opening up emotionally and working on this talking about your feels and spilling your guts here somebody's getting bad karma they're making a you know a bad judgment call they're not going to get the justice that they deserved Whatever this connection was in the past, it's like it was meant to grow something in, in one of y'all's life. Like both of y'all, I feel like the Eight of Pentacles is here. It's like there was more to gain. Somebody rejected it. What's coming up for the near future? There's that regret. God, this person's so fucking mad. A Five of Cups in reverse with a Sun in reverse. It's, that's, the, that's, like, that's like depression. That's feeling like the... Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Mm -mm -mm. Only darkness every day. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And this house just ain't no home. Anytime she goes away. They ain't gonna let her be gone for long. Page of Wands with the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Oh, I got chills, y'all. Shout out Bill Withers from the beautiful state of West by God, Virginia. Your girl's birthplace, man. Sidebar, his son went to law school with me. Um, Yeah, somebody, I channel songs. Sorry, y'all. Sorry for my butchering my singing. But I can't stop. This, I, Bill Withers is getting in my damn head right now. This person, like, they're big regrets. Big, big mad coming up. And I don't mean mad, like sad, big sad. What the fuck have I done? This was, you know, had the potential for everything. There was so much potential in the past. Somebody rejected it completely. They're facing bad karma right now for not moving towards this and cooperating and working something out, for not opening up emotionally, for being childish right now. They're going to regret all that in the very near future. And somebody is going to have to come forward and actually, you know, talk about all this wand energy that was in the past. So much fire energy showing up for y'all. I feel like your person lacks fire energy in their chart. They lack initiative. They lack, you know, that the, the, they lack that spark to make things happen for themselves. They probably have a lot of air energy. They probably overthink a lot. That someone's coming back to talk about that Ace of Wands. The Page of Wands is holding the Ace of Wands that someone rejected in the past, and it's coupled now with an upright Ace of Cups. That's beautiful energy, Scorpio. And that's twelve cards, and I can't have, uh, you know, even numbers. If you watch my channel, I'm a complete psycho. Like, I have a phobia of even numbers. You know why? Because they can be divided. I don't trust them. I don't trust anything that can be split. <laughs> so, with that said, I want to pull one more card. Give me one card on how the outcome is going to be here. Give me one card on the outcome. Seven of Cups. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I want to pull another one, but I can't. Look, you're going to be confused as hell when this person comes back. I feel like they've been ignoring you. They gave you a hard reject. You were, look, this, that's you. Oh, it's the same person. It is you. Look, whoever, reje whoever got rejected and thought that something was going to grow with this, they're shocked as shit when this person comes back as an option is how I'm reading this. I'm not, you know, reading this as multiple people. I'm, look, you got the same skin. He's got the, like the blue arms just like this guy does. This is you. You got the same shirt on. Almost purple, red, whatever. That, that's you. You're not going to believe this person is coming back. You also don't trust them because you don't know what you're going to get this time around. Just know that they do regret it and they do have the intention of entering into a loving relationship, starting a new offer in love here at least. Picking up back where you left off, I feel like. I feel like you just, you can pick right back up where you left off. Look how begrudgingly this page of wands is though. 
uh, I have to come fucking say how I feel. I gotta admit. <laughs> I have to admit to Scorpio that I actually did have feels. Ugh, that would be the greatest birthday present for y'all Scorpios. All right, that's what I got for you guys. Love y'all. Bye.